this video looks at two fairly routine third questions. The first one is adding two thirds, where the number in the square root is different. Now the method here is to first of all simplify the thirds. So, root 48, I look for the square factor of 48, which is 16, so it's 16 times 3, and root of 16 is 4, so it's 4 root 3. And root 75, the square factor is 25, so it's 25 times 3. Root of 25 is 5, so it's 5 root 3. So this question boils down to 4 root 3 plus 5 root 3. 4 plus 5 is 9, so it's 9 lots of root 3. So A is 9 and B is 3. So when we add thirds, we must where possible, make them simpler, so we can get the same number in the square root to therefore add them where possible. The second one is an algebra, is a fraction involving thirds. And we have a 7 plus root 5 in the bottom. And the aim of this is to get the third away from the bottom of the fraction. And to do this, we use a standard technique. I'll put some brackets on the top and the bottom. And we're times the top and bottom by the same number. That keeps the fraction the same, but will hopefully make it simpler. And what I do is, I do one simple step. I times by the bottom with the sign changed. So 7 minus root 5. And what I do to the bottom, I must also do to the top. Now, we can now work this out actually quite quickly. Because... 7 times 7 is 49. Now, root 5 times root 5 is just 5. There's a minus, so it becomes minus 5. And the clever thing here is, is that the 7 root 5 and the minus 7 root 5 cancel out. So we're left with just 49 take away 5, which of course is 44. We then also work out the top. Now, 7 times 7 is 49. And 2 root 5 times 7 is 14 root 5, so plus 14 root 5. 7 times minus root 5 is minus 7 root 5. And finally, 2 root 5 times minus root 5. Well, root 5 times root 5 is 5. 2 times 5 is 10. There's a minus there, so it's just minus 10. So I'll extend that fraction line right across. So the answer becomes 49 take away 10 is 39. 14 root 5 take away 7 root 5 is just 7 root 5. And 49 take away 5 is 44. So there we go. The fraction has been simplified. In other words, the third has gone from the bottom of the fraction to just being in the top of the fraction.